In this video, we'll have a look at a few Checkout WC plugins to help you increase the conversion rate on your checkout. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first plugin on my list is the all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce created by yours truly. And the reason we're going to choose this checkout is that there's a free and a pro version, but there's a lot of um, features packed in a free version as well. So it will instantly help you optimize your checkout fields. You can add order bumps, dynamic offers, multi-step checkout, and so much more. So let's have a look at what this plugin actually does. So here we are in our dashboard and I've already installed the all-in-one checkout plugin. So we'll just navigate to the main menu area. And then here we can do a few things. So one, we can enable um, direct checkout, meaning the customers can skip um, the cart page and just go straight to the checkout page. So you've got two options um, here. You can enable the direct checkout, meaning there'll just be a buy button and you can rename the button to whatever you like. Or you can show a buy now button and also an add to cart button, which is what I recommend unless um typically customers only purchase one item then you can just add the buy button only um, we've also got the mini car option and with this option enabled so if i click on this okay so we can choose the position we can also enable the order bump within our mini cart and we can also enable um, the free shipping bar as well so i'll leave a link to um, a video i created showing you how to actually create the free shipping progress bar so this is a great way to encourage customers to add more items to their basket to qualify for free shipping the order bump as well is an excellent way just to upsell customers to um, either a better version or complementary product or just more of the same okay and we've got the order bump here so we can add multiple different order bump and we can add um so there's two types of order bumps there's a standard one um so let me go ahead and click on this here this is one that i created earlier so i've just added this um item to upsell customers to and we've created various well i've created one condition here but we can add multiple different conditions so this order bump will only show if the cart total is above a hundred dollars okay we can tie it to a specific category or country and so on um, and then design for the design option we can go ahead and change the copy okay so the unique thing about this order bump is there's two types so we've got the standard um, order bump which is this one okay and then we've got what we've called the notification so we might change the wording um, for this in future but this option i believe is great for if you offer um for example um shipping insurance or anything like that so as you can see the design slightly different and the user can just go ahead and toggle this option and it'll automatically just add it to cart that's what i would personally use this feature for okay so you can add multiple order bumps as i mentioned we won't go too much into that there's another video which i'll link to um, if you want to learn more about that as well and then under general settings we can create um, checkout editing so the customers can edit items on the checkout page and we've also got um, a scarcity timer you can set a limit in how long you want to reserve the items in a customer's basket for and there'll be a timer on the screen so again this is an excellent way to just boost conversion and encourage customers to actually go ahead and complete the checkout okay so we can enable the add to cart animation and we've got a few animation types here so we've got shake we've got bounce flash pulsate tada um heartbeat okay and we can set um the settings interval so the add to cart button on a product page will um for example here it will just shake okay and we can go ahead and create multiple different checkout forms okay so to do that we'll just click add new checkout okay and then here we can go ahead and add extra steps so we can create a multi-step checkout we can customize the field as well so we can select this um, settings icon and we can just drag and drop different items um, onto our checkout page okay so i'm going to go ahead and delete this and to access additional options so for example if i click on this email address here so we can set this to required and we can change the label appearance we can set the width whether we want it to be full half or a third we can add an extra class as well for custom styling and different fields different form fields will have different options okay and if it's a custom field we can choose where we want to display that field on as well okay so to add a new step so i briefly touched on it earlier as well so we'll just click this icon here 
and here we can see our new step. To move different fields or section to, to um, a different step would basically just drag and drop it onto that specific step. So if we view step two, we can see our billing details here. Okay, for products, we can go ahead and add. So we can automatically add a product to this particular checkout. So this is great if you want to create, um, let's say you wanted to create like a special launch offer or something of that sort, then you can create a new checkout form with probably specific checkout fields and you can automatically add um, certain products to that field as well. Um, upsells, okay, I think we've moved this option outside of um, this area here. So we might remove this tab. Okay, so, but in terms of upsell, we've got the um, order bump. We've also got um, volume base um, bundles and so much more. Okay, but that requires a separate add-on. Okay, so for the design section, so currently here we've got, um, well, we've just got two different um, design and we'll add more in the future as well. So here you can choose um, the default template, which will basically be um, just your theme template. Okay, and we'll just try to inject the different custom form fields onto your current theme um, design. Okay, but ideally for maximum compatibility, I personally recommend just going with one of our um, pre-built conversion focus themes. Okay, so you can choose from a single column layout or a two column layout. And then for the settings page, we can go ahead and enable this um, checkout form and then we can give it a name. Okay, so this is great for when you've got multiple different um, checkouts, you can just name it appropriately and it's just for internal purposes. Okay, so we can create a custom URL, as I mentioned, so you can share this to um, customers via email, via a sales page, and so on. Okay, another cool thing, which, well, I'd say another unique thing with this particular plugin, which I haven't seen on any other one, is that we can actually go ahead and create different checkouts for different um, customer segments. So a lot of our customers serve um, retail customers and B2B customers. So for the B2B customers, maybe they want to ask for extra information, right? Such as their tax um, ID and so on. Okay, so in that case, we can choose like specific role and then we can specify the specific role or user as well. You can also add a custom checkout text. So I think it, the default text is usually like place order or something like that. You can select um, buy now or whatever it is you want. Okay. And then you just save changes. But since I've already got a different checkout form, I'm just going to go back here and not save anything. Okay. So just to give you a quick look at how our checkout page looks currently, let's view site and let's go ahead and view our checkout. Right, and here we can see our custom checkout page. Um, ideally, we'd add a logo. Let's go ahead and do that now, actually. And let's set the width to 150 pixels. And now let's go ahead and refresh this page. Okay, so now we've got our store logo. We've got our billing details. Okay, we've got our order summary and we've got a our order bump. Okay, so for this particular order bump, I was testing earlier, so I didn't actually include um, a description or anything like that. We've got this notification style um, order bump. Okay, and if a user go ahead and enable this option, it'll automatically just add it to cart. Okay, and then to view. So let's go ahead and collapse this some more. Here you can see it's mobile ready. So it looks great on desktop and also mobile as well. And we can expand and the order summary as well. So let's open this up again. Okay, so to get started with this plugin, go ahead and head over to woosuite.com. Go ahead and download the all-in-one at checkout plugin. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, so now my next recommendation is this plugin here. So it's flexible checkout fields. Okay, and what this plugin will do, it will allow you to customize um, the various checkout fields in WooCommerce. Okay, so before getting into this, let's actually disable um, our all-in-one checkout fields. So we'll just disable this option here. And I've already got um, this plugin installed already, so we'll just have a look at it now. Okay, so we'll go WooCommerce and then we'll go to checkout fields here. 
and this plugin will allow you to customize the fields on your checkout page so you can reduce the number of fields that your customer need to fill in and hopefully that should help increase your conversion rate if for example you sell a more complex product then maybe you want to increase the number of fields um, that they need to actually fill in okay so to add a field to this checkout form you will just go ahead and click on um, the field type that you want um, enter in the name I guess and then just click add field okay so some of these options are actually um, require the pro version for example a multi checkbox um, field that requires a pro version okay um, these require pro version as well a select fields so this would be my second options but if I'm honest um, this entire functionality you can just get an all-in-one checkout plugin which is available in the free version. Okay, so this is the flexible checkout fields. So that would be my second recommendation. And now my third recommendation would be um, the Cardflow plugin. Okay, this plugin, in my opinion, is mainly aimed at um, marketers and course creators and consultants and so on. Um, but recently they've added a option so you can create a store checkout which is why it's included in this list. So we'll just head over to Cartflow's store checkout. Okay, so then you'll see a setup wizard and it'll ask you if you wanna choose a pre-made template or a custom template. I went for a custom template and it created these two pages for us. So it created a checkout and a thank you page. So we can edit our checkout page here. Okay, and based on the page builder you're using, you can actually go ahead and edit the design around the checkout fields okay so let's go to order bumps this is currently in a pro version um form fields okay so you've got a few options here so you can enable the coupon um, option you can enable the additional fields option okay and you can enable the ship to different address okay and then we've got this option where it says custom field editor okay so this is much better so we can actually um, change the label and we can choose whether it's required or not um, I can't see it okay so yeah if we wanted to hide this one we we'll just select the eye icon okay so that's not too bad can we rearrange it yes we can rearrange it so that's good can we add a new section um, no I don't think so and it doesn't look like in the free version you can add um, multiple steps as well. I think that's available in the pro version, so don't quote me on it. Okay, uh, dynamic offers, you need to get a pro version. Um, settings, so here we can change the label, okay, which is good. Um, general settings, we can um, customize the checkout slug. And then we've got the short code as well, um, so we can embed this checkout field on any particular page okay so i forgot to mention that option in the all-in-one checkout plugin so quickly navigate back over to the all-in-one checkout plugin and i'll show you how you can actually add copy the short code okay so when you've created your checkout form here if you click this um, actions tab you can actually go ahead and copy the short code so just click get short code and this will be copied to your clipboard. Then you can paste it anywhere you like. And if you use um, Glutenberg, if you just search for um, AIO checkout, you'll see the all-in-one checkout widget as well. So I just wanted to mention it. Okay, so back to cart flows. Okay, yeah, I think, I think that's about it um, in terms of looking for a true replacement for um, checkout WC. So I've gave you three solid options there. So you've got, just to recap, you've got um, all-in-one checkout plugin for WooCommerce by WooSuite. And then you've also got um, the flexible checkout fields. And then also we've got the Cartflows plugin. Okay, and that brings us to the end of this video. We've had a look at three solid um, replacements for checkout WC. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below.